What's going on guys? This is Matei with Tech Vitamins again. Um, today I want to do a quick review on this new cool app I got called Video Cam Illusion. Uh, I've been looking for application that can uh, you know put effects on the recording as I'm doing it uh, on the video and I haven't really found a cool one until a few days ago. So let's go ahead and get right to it. Let me go ahead and launch this application. Now there's also a, a free version of this app which I encourage you to try first before you buy the full version but as you will see in a second um, for $2.99 I mean this thing is definitely worth it. What I mean by that is uh, pretty much everything is there except you see the filter list it's probably three to four times as big as the one that comes with the free version as well as the effects mask and uh, the speed pretty much the same but the mask filters and effects increase uh, Tremendously, you also have settings to save your different um, profiles here and how you set your uh, effects up. And you don't have the stupid advertisement at the bottom. So let's go ahead and take a look at of uh, these things in detail. Let's look at some uh, settings first uh, to define them before we do anything. So let's look at the resolution, which uh, is a little bit disappointing that it can go all the way up to 720p. Especially the fact that I have the HTC Thunderbolt and it can do videos of that quality. But you know, uh, nevertheless, we got 480p in two different versions the 720 or the 800 by 480. So, you know, obviously, I'm going to try to utilize as best resolution as I can. So, let me go ahead and select that. Save the audio track is cool because you can separately save the audio track and then if you put it into a um, you know, video editing software, you can mess with it further. And other than that, that's pretty much the only thing we can do in settings. Get a little picture icon that will take you to the library of all the videos you got. You see that I only done one so far. Um, and the start button is where you get to mess with all the settings. Obviously, light um, the strike is flash. And let's go ahead and take a look at the settings. So uh, one very cool thing about this is the filters. That's probably one of my favorites. So for example, I can do a negative filter, which obviously gives you a negative effect uh, on the picture. Uh, one that I really like the most is the pencil, which kind of draws everything for you. Now it's, it's a very cool feature in my opinion. Let's take a look at my hand. Yeah, that's, that's really, really cool. Um, let's take a look at emboss it kind of just you know bevels and bosses everything it's another cool one um, the thermal kind of gives you an infrared camera kind of look even though obviously it doesn't act like a infrared camera but you know the lighter the colors um, it represents I guess the cool uh, the more red and yellows and the cooler the colors the darker the colors it will give you you can see right there the blue effect that um, interface for Pro Tools is completely dark gray so it's going to give you the cool effect Let's take a look at comic is also pretty cool now the comic is almost like the pencil version of uh, you know drawing but it gives you colors with it as well so anyways I mean, you can play with these there's a lot of cool ones but let me show you what you can do when you have these set up so for example let me go to my favorite pencil version of this and let me give it a mask so for example if I wanted to do a monitor which is cool it's just set up before it gives you uh, this mask overlay on the screen and now it looks like you know you have this monitor effect so all your video that you take is going to go through this monitor another cool one that I remember were the uh, the bricks which could be pretty and it's, it's a little bit um, the bricks are like transparency it's a transparency setting so it's not really a mask in my opinion but it's definitely still cool the landscape is pretty cool um, and it gives you kind of this little landscape postcard type look and all the videos within the little postcard um, so let me for example set it to the monitor actually before we set it to a monitor let's take a look at some of the effects now the effects the thin version is cool you can see the effect that it's doing on any object that's being presented to it. The other one that I like is the is it the fish eye? No, that's not it. The light tunnel. Very cool setting. You see how it kind of gives you a tunnel vision, gives you a circle in the center of your recording, and everything else is kind of uh, 
just rays out um, radially across the whole image. All you can do, you know, the rough glass is pretty cool. Um, it kind of gives you this distortion of the image. Um, you know, again, so there's a lot of, they have a lot of uh, different settings here, which are definitely <laughs> cool, to, you know, pretty impressive. Let's take a look at, now the speed settings, let's take turn this off. The speed settings on this are what they mean. If you slow it down, it's going to give you like a slow, you know, version of the video. Let me, let me never do that again, that was pretty weak. But obviously very fast will uh, speed up the uh, image while you're recording it, which could be a cool, um, a cool effect you can do when you have the tunnel vision on, for example. But you know, the one that I was playing with, let's say I have the mask on of the monitor and I apply the effect of the tunnel vision. Or the, I'm sorry, just the light tunnel. Um, and speed it up times two so you can have all these different effects on it and just start recording but it gives you you know very cool images and then you can further take this obviously into your favorite uh, video editing software and do a lot of cool things so, I mean you know on the go with the uh, HTC Thunderbolt this is a cool app to have this is one of the cooler ones I found and uh, thanks to the makers of this and hopefully you guys will improve the uh, resolution to 720p very soon. Thanks again for watching and uh, write any questions or anything else you want me to look at in the comments. Thanks guys.